And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Fate, another donation deck where we're going to be combining the Undying and Twisted Fate. That's kind of our goal here. So we got a pretty good anti-control thing here going with the Undying um, being a card that's awesome against control because it just you can't get rid of it, right? It just keeps on coming back over and over. And then also Twisted Fate, which does a good job with, like, with the blue card. And um, usually with, with Twisted Fate, you want to play a lot of things that draw cards. And a lot of things that draw cards are going to be usually pretty good against control. Um, so to, to kind of make up for that, we want to have a, a low curve. So you can see tons of two mana cards. Uh, we want to have a, a pretty low curve and uh, be able to get ahead or, or stabilize against aggressive decks. Um... And then, uh, you know, then we got a nice little top end. All right, so we got some cool things going on here. So we have some vulnerable stuff. Hired Gun can grant an enemy vulnerable, plus Sheriff Lariat Rose grants enemy vulnerable. And the the important thing about that is that, uh, because like the Undying is usually like a 2-2 that you don't want to block, right? And so if we give their stuff vulnerable, then we force them to block our Undying. So that's, that's like step number one. So that's a cool little thing there. Um, another thing, another little synergy thing is that if they don't block our Undying, because they don't really want to, well then that's an easy way to turn on Plunder, right? And then that turns on our Plunder cards, um, you know, like our Black Market Merchant and our Pilfered Goods and things like that. Another Plunder card that we have is Citrus Courier. Maybe they don't want to block the Undying, and so then boom, Citrus Courier Rally, we get to attack again. Especially if we have multiple Undyings, because we can get multiple Undyings with help from cards like Chronicler of Ruin or Ethereal Remitter. Um, or even Blighted Caretaker, we can sacrifice our own Undying with these kind of cards and get more, um, and then rally with a bunch of Undyings. So that's, an, that's another cool little uh, thing that we have. Same with like Glimpse Beyond. So we've got a bunch of cool little synergies in here, um, and then and uh, you know backed up with a lot of card draw, whether it's Pool Shark, um, you know our Black Market Merchant, our Pilfer Goods, our Twisted Fates. We got synergies. We got card draw. We're going to be attacking. We can kind of control combat a little bit with some vulnerable stuff. A bunch of cool little things in this deck. And then, of course, we have Ruination if we need a reset button. And Ruination works great with the Undying. So it looks like an interesting deck. Uh, we're going to try this out. We're playing Parlay instead of um, instead of Warning Shot. Because they're like right now, it's a pretty aggressive metagame with a lot of one health units running around. And so we want that ability to be able to kill the one health units for one mana where I, I know it's not nearly as good if we parlay them because that is that is very slow uh, compared to warning shot but we want to be able to have removal for the uh one health units all right let's let's give us a try this is a meme tier monday deck we're going to play this one over in normal and uh just play our games It's not impossible to have fun with an 05 deck. Trust me, I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, big facts. Been making a deep PNZ deck. Okay. All right. Deep PNZ. Okay, I like these first three cards, and you want know like hired gun too. Let's just keep all this. Um, what kind of what kind of PNZ cards are you playing in your deep deck? There, Super Z. I think this is the first time I've used the uh, Misfortune Sleeves, I think. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Not the worst thing to just bank up mana. But if they would have played something smaller than I would have had uh, that to go on. All right, I'm gonna cast Parlay to cast something. And then Black Market Merchant. Cool. Yeesh, 
Get him, Jagged Butcher. Play higher guns pre-combat, or just go straight to combat. I think I just go straight to combat. Our hand's pretty awkward, but it seems like their hand is just as awkward. I could see them like start playing a bunch of Yordle Grifters. There we go. There we go. The ocean charts our course. So that's just a one one. Fate. Fortune. Maybe they have a bunch of Fury of the Norths. So my plan is gold card and then make it rain, kill this. Kind of the plan. All right, that'll do. I don't know why I didn't just block that. I should have blocked that. Should I? No, maybe not. Okay, they did have Fury of the North. Love ya. But making them waste a, a Fury of the North, basically, because they don't get to use that Fury of the North in combat at all. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I should have blocked this the first time. Hmm. So we can go with the Undying and with Blighted Caretaker. The only thing that actually kills Misfortune is this 3-3. Maybe we should have gone with the Citrus Courier. Everyone's a garden. Scared of insightful when you get too much value? What's insightful? Never stop shooting. Son of a That was a pretty good mega rain. I would rather them kill the, the other two ones and I would keep the, the two ones that would be able to stay around and battle that. That that was that was a really good make it rain. Ooh, but we got our own make it rain. Insightful investigator. This is our Ah that card. Nah, you don't need to be scared of Insightful Investigator. That's not a card that people play too much. But it is a pretty sweet card. Hmm. They got a lot of cards over there. Basically, my problem is, like, if I play Citrus Courier and then they play, like, Sejuani... At least they're playing Sejuani and not killing something with Sejuani. 
Oh, when you play it yourself. Okay, you're scared of your own insightful investigator when you're playing that because you get too much value out of the card. Oh. Yeah, that is something you have to worry about. Yeah, you do have to worry about drawing your whole deck. Do not doubt. Getting extra attack steps with the Undying is pretty sweet. Okay, ready. Glad they used the warning shot. They could have just attacked. Basically, I just want to go straight to combat. They're down to four. There's said Juani's at four out of five right now. They go too crazy, I can ruination. It just it does kill my twisted fate, but oh well. Um you know, it makes the, the undying. Sure. Give that thing vulnerable. Makes the undying a four four, and they are at four. I should have just played this last turn with that extra free attack. Success. Get you notice around here. I'm at 17, that's a pretty healthy life total. If I go pick a if I go pick a card, put back ruination, we draw three. And we'll uh, get a leveled up twisted fate. Pretty good ethereal remitter. They've played a bunch of make it rains already. I'm hoping they're out. Ugh. Why are you taking all of my good value cards? Using them against me. Man, they can just give me 20 puff caps and I'm about to draw four cards. That's kind of scary. Alright, this is this is pretty scary. Um, I, yeah, I had a, a I friend that created the Hawktai bot that has that command with the card command. Okay, so we need to trigger plunder by... I kill that, revive it. We need to play two spells to trigger plunder. So I hope we draw like a one mana spell here. Because I want to have Plunder triggered for Citrus Courier, but a second... Okay, I guess we can have that. A second spell... Um, triggers Plunder with the red card.
I'm gonna have to like glimpse beyond one of these two, I guess. <sighs> Gotta trust your instincts. Guess we're gonna have to glimpse beyond. Means, yeah, we're letting either Vengeance or Citrus Courier go. Oh gosh, I forgot to have all these puff caps. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Was I supposed to just attack with you, Twisted Fate? Maybe I was. The thing was a 2-4 at the time. It still would have dealt damage to it. Maybe I was supposed to attack with that at the time. Yeah, the one of vengeance is gone. It's a good defensive tool. Prettier when you smile. Hmm. Blue as the serpent. Always forward. We're so close to killing them. I'm playing Pilfer Goods is going to be red card. And so that will be one damage. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. I sure hope so. <laughs> I don't really know how this wouldn't do it. Like deny all, all abilities on the stack. Alright, GG's, Undying Fate. Why not? No, so yeah, like I don't, I don't actually want to, I have a bunch of puff caps. I don't want to draw that many cards. I'm saying why not I just cast a glimpse on it. Undying, I don't want to draw... I want to draw as little amount of cards as possible because we could just die to puff caps. Like, it's a very real possibility. Is us di uh, dying to puff caps? So yeah. Okay, so Juani Swain. I don't know. This hand's kind of weird. Like, it's not like. I don't mind any of these cards in my opener, but it also doesn't do a ton. Like, am I gonna play Pool Shark on turn one? Probably not. Um, I could play it like on turn two and then see what we get for turn three. Like, Harley's good against Omen Hawk. Not good against everything. We can sacrifice the Pool Shark to the Glimpse Undying. And they did have Omen Hawk. We've been playing against a whole bunch of Omen Hawks. Turn one. Does anybody remember what my very first game was with Averroes and Allegiance? Because I don't quite remember. Because besides that, our other five, six, seven, set. So this is seven. So the other six games have all been against Omen Hawks. I just don't remember what the first one was. But I know our last six games were all versus Omen Hawk. Oh, 
safeguard our homes. Is something the matter? Is something the matter? Love the block. Alert the village. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. I obviously don't love playing Nothing that thing as a two-one either. Much. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Never lost a fair game. No, this one we had was, a, was our last meme tier Monday deck. We played a couple, two of them today. Um, and so I wasn't playing in ranked. We could be playing in ranked. I mean, there's not that much difference between normal and ranked. Like these last deck, this deck, these are good decks. Really not much difference. If y'all want, if y'all want me to play ranked, I can do that. All right, so plunder is a play trigger, not a summon trigger. So we don't get to do anything cool with like Chronicler of Ruin, Black Market Merchant, and steal something. Like that's not that's not something that we have the ability to do. Get their foundations. Hmm. I should probably be glimpsed beyonding that, to be honest. The game. Go on, then. Watch the ball, folks. My plan right now is, like, I, I did want to Ethereal Remitter that. That was my original plan. My new plan is play Pool Shark. What's the, what's the deal with these three fours? I guess it's only one Omen Hawk trigger. The few for the many. All right, so Pool Shark, kill Pool Shark. Pool Shark is a summon trigger. So we're gonna draw two fleeting at the beginning of the next round. Um, that's gonna get us up to five. Okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to have the Ethereal Remitter kill the Chronicler of Ruin and get a 6-drop. So, you know, not as good as Warning Shot. It's slow speed. That's how it goes. We're going to level up this Twisted Fate. Okay, so I could go Glimpse Beyond on my Pool Shark, level up Twisted Fate, and then I still have four mana. Yeah, I mean, that's just the play. Man, I want to I want to play Ethereal Remitter because that card's cool. This is just the play. Um, they could have removal for Pool Shark. And then I'll feel silly, but if they have removal for Pool Shark, they would just use removal on, on like Twisted Fate, on presumably. Streak. Instead. Blue card. Eyes open. Hmm. It's not bad. Um. Let's see. If I go, if I go caretaker, then I don't get gold card. That's probably okay, though. Everyone's a guard. Not to get gold card. 
something for all. Have this nice attack. Talk about a good turn six here. All right, they're pledging. Pledging to keep those demolitionists alive. <laughs> Look how upset the shark is whenever we take a little bit of damage. You own what you take. Alright, so we gotta get to gold card. Um I need to play something cheap to start with. Is that you Crimson Disciple or is that you Pool Shark? I'll have seven mana, it's you Pool Shark. I mean I guess I could just vengeance that thing. I guess we could do that. As the I was thinking go um, Withering Will and uh, make it rain. And that will gold card the Sejuani. Clear it out. Give them a chance! I still want to do that. Well, that worked. That was a good Mega Rain. It doesn't really matter. I mean, basically, just one to hit Sejuani. That was the most important thing. I guess hitting them would have been the next best thing. Hey, Randani. Yeah, it's a late stream tonight. It's been a little while since we've done a late stream. Twenty three minutes after midnight there. <laughs> yep, that's my time. Yeah, it's five twenty one in my time zone. So for seventeen twenty one on military time. <clears throat> Let's see. We can't lose our Undying. So our deck's named after. We can't lose that. Soak it in. Oh, man. I wish we could, wish we could play that, but... It's all good. You can see the Demostian border from here. All right, we're gonna go Ethereal Remitter, kill this, get a five drop. Radiant Guardian. Oh, that's not a bad five drop to get. Neverglade Collector. Who says I don't see? I just wanted to do that. Uh, it does mean that I don't, don't get to gold card, but I wanted to do that. Give us some room. Be Show them our teeth. Ready the torches. Get him, Neverlake Collector. Get him. All right, that's a win. So, did y'all want to go over to rank? All right, go ranked. Okay. All right. 
Over to rank. Yeah, their deck looked good at, to start with, but then they had some questionable card choices a little bit later. Like the Bloodsworn Pledge. Alright, what do we got? Bilgewater, PNZ, as Twisted Fate. Maybe... Maybe difficult to turn on. Okay, there we go. That should be... that. That's a good card, honestly. Alright, so we're gonna lose... We're playing this turn one. We're gonna... We're gonna likely lose what this... Whatever this card is. Unless it's like... Black Market Merchant. Wow, it actually was Black Market Merchant. That is so good. Yeah, that worked out. The Undying. This is a great The Undying matchup. Speaking of working working out well for us, it's a good card to play on turn three. Uh, Wait a minute. Basically making it so Withering Whale will kill both of these. That's my plan. <laughs> yeah, that's that's mostly what I play is. Uh, question was what do you play to Masters? And mostly what I play is donation decks, yeah. Alright, I'll take that Mystic Shot. So our one black market merchant that we played it turned into a Yordle Grifter. Which turned into a warning shot and a mystic shot. <clears throat> and that one black market merchant was a free card from the pool shark. So just that that pool shark. That pool shark just did so much for us. It really did. Crazy amount of value from that pool shark. Okay. Go on, then. Hey, scrub lord. Don't even want to target my the undying. Hmm. Well, twisted fate is fleeting, so we should probably use this. It is fleeting. Wouldn't have been a bad time for Citrus Courier. We got nine cards in hand, so that's okay. We can go ahead and uh, draw safely. Give that vulnerable. Three 
six, nine. So I'm still looking at nine cards. Okay, that that's about to level up. We gotta we gotta stop that. We gotta stop that. Um Take a couple more. What else you got? Parlay Yordle Grifter. We play and build rules, son. Ooh, Chronicler of Ruin. This is a summon trigger? Wow. Wow, that's a summon trigger? Hmm. So many options. I guess I guess it's probably gonna be Yordle Grifter, Chronicler of Ruin. Uh let's see, three, six, eight. We have eight cards, so yeah, we can play this. I'm not greedy. My friends though. <laughs> That was pretty sick that we kept on stealing their Yordle Grifters, and we kept on hitting with Yordle Grifter because we're playing a whole bunch of Bilgewater cards ourselves. Yeah, Ash said Juani, that's a that's a great rank deck. That's a great one. All right, well our, well, our deck's looking good. We had a lot of good fortune with that game, though. We had basically, you know, so many things go our way. Um, especially that, that turn one uh, pool shark. That was insane. Maybe we need to play some more pool shark. Maybe we need to play some more pool shark. All right, this is going to be tough. The aggro matchup, this is going to be tough. This is where um, the Undying, not so good. How do you get the attack token on turn one? I don't like it. I certainly hope they don't have Crimson Disciple. That's the card that's going to like really, really hurt me. Good. I love seeing Green Glade duo. That's a lot better. All right, getting greedy. Could have make it. Could have gone make it rain right there and killed both of them. Getting a little greedy. Um, I could still withering whale, but this could set up a make it rain plus a black market merchant. They'll never see us coming. Okay. Okay. I like Elixir of Wrath in that deck. Hmm, interesting. I think they're just gonna untap. Alone, we see things as they are. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Gather round, gather round. If I must. So if I just do like a little, if I just like gold card the solitary monk, there's a good chance that they just pick the solitary monk back up. If I gold card. I kind of feel like this is my best thing to do is actually just grasp the undying and just kill that thing. Even though I wanted to play Twisted Fate. Everything's 
Says you. Says you. I'm always up for a round or two. GG. All right, we had, I mean, we had a good hand there. Make it rain. I uh, did some work. They didn't have Crimson Disciple. Like that, that, that game would have been so much different if they had turn two Crimson Disciple instead of turn two Green Glade Duo. But we're pretty good against Duo with those cheap removal spells. Not so much Crimson Disciple. All right, 4 0. Yeah, I know. We're just in Diamond 3 right now. We'll we'll rank back up this week. We'll do uh, some rank days. <laughs> Whenever I play Twisted Fate or Misfortune, they die instantly. Whenever I play against them, I never get to kill them. Yeah, I played a lot of Gauntlet last week. and uh, Yeah, I didn't, didn't stream on Saturday. So yeah, it's all right. Uh, Misfortune Lucian. That could be a pretty aggressive deck. This is a bunch of removal. I kind of like that. Let's keep this. Let's just keep all this removal. We control now. Undying control. Yeah, it's just not really me. I'm not. I'm not really the go go race to masters. That's not really me. I like doing my thing. I like playing, you know, the donation decks and everything, and we'll get there. Um, we'll be there in a week or two. There's a kill in the air. Oh, I should have played the parlay, which is slow speed first. Yeah, I should start with the parlay slow speed. I was thinking that, you know, obviously I was thinking do this so that parlay does the one damage to them. But that would have saved me three life. I guess I don't really have to do this, though. We can just wait and make it rain the next time. The biggest problem with waiting is if they have Senna. It's the biggest problem with waiting, but then I still have Grasp, even if they have Senna. I hope they don't. Feed Demacia. Feed Demacia. All right, Demacia has been fed. Stink of blood and sweat. Feel the sizzle. I liked our keep. These draws after our keep, though. Like, look at our first four draws. Sheriff Lariat Rose, Citrus Courier, Vengeance, and Grass of the Undying. These have not been ideal draws. <sighs> not been ideal at all. I don't really want to use any of these. Dang, fine. I'm gonna use a rally just to do three damage. So I basically grasp just traded with war chefs and rally completely, right? It like it the traded the three damage. Market merchant, draw me a card to play. I really should have been more specific. I don't know, that could be cool later. They probably got like Cythrias or something. Like, what? Like, they're not playing anything. Is that like what they got? It's just a bunch of Cythrias? Or, yeah, Genevieve Elmhearts, stuff like that. Guess that's that's what they got. Let's kill that 
that thing. And I don't love blocking with the 2-1. I don't love blocking with the 2-1, because that thing's just a 2-2. Two -two. It's just uh, pumped up right now. Play something good. Play something good. Ooh, Smooth Soloist. That's a fun card I haven't tried at all yet. Has anybody tried a Smooth Soloist deck? I haven't tried that card at all. play anything good for me to ruination so basically what i'm doing here i know this doesn't kill this thing all we're doing is one damage to the senna um and the whole point of me doing the one damage to the senna would be so that withering whale would kill both of these that was my point but now it looks like withering whale is just going to trade with senna and the rally These Relentless Pursuits have looked really bad on both sides. <laughs> unfortunately, they're all gone, though. They don't get to draw anymore, because we took one, unfortunately. But yeah, I was I was doing that so I could I could courier this, this past turn, and then I was going to untap and Withering Whale. That was my plan. We've played a mobilized deck before. Mobilize is cool. I could build a mobilized deck. Does mobilize work with smooth soloist? I haven't really thought of those two together. All right, well, we got a 5-0. Our first two weren't ranked, but we played against perfectly fine decks. Um, so I have I have the decks of Rune, Rune Terra page that I put up all the 5-0 lists, but usually that's all 5-0 ma in master rank. Should I put should I put this list up there cuz we didn't play the first two in ranked. I guess I wish I wish I would have like every, everything kind of worked out for us. With that so it's pretty sweet. I was super impressed with Pool Shark. Parley looked pretty decent. Um, yeah, that was. And then just like our removal, like Make It Rain, plus Withering Whale, plus Twisted Fate Red Card. All of that worked pretty well together. Hired Gun did its thing. I have to say, out of like. How the cards played, the Pool Shark was probably the most impressive card that um, that I saw that I wasn't really expecting it to be as, as good. That it, it just looked great. It looked better than um, Jagged Butcher. And I wonder, and so I wonder if like another Twisted Fate decks that I have that aren't like super aggressive, I wonder if I should just be playing Pool Shark instead of Jagged Butcher because this looked a lot better than that. <laughs> All right, everybody wants bonus games for this one. Yeah, we didn't do that much with the Undying. That is true. Um, yeah, we didn't really do it. Do anything with the Undying. Um, yeah, it was just Yoink package. Good removal. Uh, some good value cards. 
Citrus Courier looked good. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was kind of a lot of like our opponents not doing that much or just playing small. Like we played against a lot of small units and like Make It Rain uh, just destroyed them, basically. Make It Rain, Red Card, Caretaker. It's kind of what happened here. Uh, you get to, you can choose Grace Claw. You can gift any specific person a sub, or you can do random. Um, yeah, we didn't get we didn't get a cool sheriff. Uh, we didn't get a, a cool sheriff play. Lariat Rose. Um, okay. Hey, y'all want a bonus game? All right, all right. Y'all want a bonus game? Here we go. We'll play one. Oh, sorry, Colby. Yes, no. <laughs> thanks, thanks for yeah. No, Colby. Thank you. Uh, joining the sub. Thank you, of course, Togrek for for uh, Santa Togrek for gifting the sub. I really appreciate that. So this is gonna be something a little different. All right, cool. Yeah, I had a couple of y'all going to bed, so bonus game before. Let's see how it does here. This is... Hmm, how are we navigating this? We're going to get rid of Vengeance, get rid of Caretaker, keep these two. I could honestly see getting rid of Hired Gun. Hired Gun's basically two mana, two, three. Not doing a whole lot else, but it kicks us off. Mm. Those are not good mulligans. Yeah, I should have stopped while we were on top. That's what I was saying. Y'all didn't listen. I was saying stop while we were on top. Okay. Two mana, two, three trade-in. It's a good trade. It's a good trade. Uh, these draws <laughs> look really silly. Gosh, these draws look bad. Come on, something to do. Well, I mean, something to do, I suppose. We got the slowest warning shot. <laughs> Don't be a coward. We got this. True, true. We got this. As long as they don't play a champion, we're good. Right? That's that's what we have to be thinking. They're not going to play Vi. They're not going to play Heimerdinger. Especially not Heimerdinger. And so we're good. We're good. No champion. Deep Meditation's a good card to go along with Twisted Faint. Go to 10, I guess. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpent. Okay, we get that pool shark. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. So that's two. No mystic shot. That's great. So that's five out of eight.
<laughs> if this beats Vimer, I'm gonna play it all the time. Especially for the start that we had. We got the slowest warning shot. Wow, they discarded Heimerdinger. Wow, discarded Heimerdinger. Okay, so I can... I can go Glimpse Beyond and then pick a card. Um, I mean, I could also just go Pilfer Goods, pick a card. Gotta trust your instincts. Or I can just play new Twisted Fate. That takes up like the rest of my turn. Don't really like how that takes up the rest of my turn. All right, so am I, am I gonna play pick a card or are we just gonna let this go? Yeah, we should probably shuffle it back. All right, so we're gonna play pick a card. And then glimpse. We almost leveled up. Answers. I have them. Mm. I can't turn on plunder. How do we turn on plunder? No. I got all these black market merchants and nothing to do with them. Well, this is sad. It would have been a lot better as, as warning shot the previous turn, right? If we would have just warning shot then pilfered goods. Yeah, Heimerdinger is just pretty silly. is a pretty silly card. Great. It's our way to turn on plunder that we never had. We figured it out. Figured out how to turn on plunder. Figured it out. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Like I said, we we're going to be okay if they didn't have champions. They immediately had Vi Heimerdinger. They even had another Heimerdinger they discarded. They immediately had champions, so. We were not okay.
think we just gotta. I think we just kind of have to hope for the best. And just hope they have absolutely nothing out of those five cards, which doesn't really make sense. really bad uh you know we didn't have anything until what, like we had the we had the hired gun it was like our only play the first like five turns the first four turns at least um yeah that was really bad and then <laughs> does it get any better for vimer when you have turn two kempunk pickpocket turn three you have the four three uh you know save your mana up turn four but then you have vi heimer I mean, it's just, like, that's that's just their ideal thing, is they have, I guess, no, turn four, they even saved their mana up, right? They had the, they had Shadow Assassin. So, yeah, so then they had Shadow Assassin, and then, I mean, that's just, you know, you have your only two drop, your your best three drop, and then your champions on five and six. So, yeah, we got destroyed. All right, but anyway, that's, so that's Undying Fate. We got the extra game in there. Uh, didn't look as good, that game. We almost got the Twisted Fate leveled up. Um, but. Oh, well, should have quit while we were ahead. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, leave those comments um, and everything like that. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.